my love for the environment, it didn't start in a vacuum. My passion for the environment came when I was a young boy. I, I grew up in a family where my parents wanted to take me to the national parks in South Africa. And so I grew up absolutely adoring the environment, but especially the oceans. I, I've seen climate change happening all over the world, be it in the, in the Maldives, be it off Antarctica. But the biggest changes I've been seeing have been up in the Arctic. Now remember in 2005 and 2006, where 23% of the sea ice cover melted away. I mean, it was so dramatic. We just saw the sea ice getting thinner and thinner and less and less. And that's why I decided to go and do the swim across the North Pole. It was a swim which I hoped would literally shake the lapels of world leaders to get them to understand how serious the situation is and that climate change is happening. It is for real. I've been very fortunate. I've, I've swum in all five oceans of the world and they're also very, very different. Uh, so the Arctic Ocean is completely black. I remember diving in at the North Pole and, and the water, I mean, you put your hand in the water, you put your arm in the water, you don't even see your hand. That's how dark it is. And then you can go swim down in Antarctica and the water is this turquoise blue. And you're thinking that you're swimming across the Indian Ocean and then suddenly underneath you, a beautiful little Adeli penguin darts away or a leopard seal comes past you. And then you realize, just how, how utterly beautiful these oceans are. A lot of people, they look out at the sea and it all looks so beautiful and occasionally they see a whale coming out and then, you know, surging back into the water and they think everything's for fine, but it isn't. I see a number of big challenges which the oceans face. Number one is, is apathy. Another issue is, is educating the public about the speed at which change is happening. The oceans are changing and they're changing so quickly. I've been swimming now for 27 years and every year I see more and more changes. I've taken on a new role as, as the patron of the oceans for UNEP. It, it's an exciting development. I'm about to embark on an enormous expedition around the whole world. We think it's going to take us three years. I'm going to be going from ocean to ocean, from city to city, campaigning for marine protected areas. And so these are like big national parks in the oceans. One percent, less than one percent of the oceans are protected. We want to try and change that. And that's why it seemed like a very good fit for us to come and work and, and support uh, UNEP in their work. We have to inform people about what simple actions which they can take in order to protect our oceans. I remember listening to the Chinese Premier speaking. He said, if you take a problem and you multiply it by a billion people, which is his population, it becomes totally unsolvable. But if you take a problem and you divide it by a billion people, it becomes solvable. And so it's about giving information to the public about what they can do in their daily lives to ensure that our oceans are protected for future generations and for our generation.